Bill, you want to talk about today's little soiree at the Rockton Water Commission? Um, well, uh, several of us, um, Ed, myself, um, <coughs> Lisa Cullody from the Board of Health, and uh, Kathleen uh, McCarthy from the uh, um, Treasurer's Office, uh, and uh, Bob Clark from Conservation went up to uh, Brockton and met with the um, water commissioners uh, up there today, and uh, and we had um, was attorney Amy, Amy yeah, Kessel from, Kessel from uh, Copland and, uh, and Page, and we also had um, the firm Blake that, Barton and uh, um, Mel Huggins from uh, Weston and Sampson. from Weston and Sampson, uh, the engineering firm that's um, doing the study currently now on Furnace Pond for the dredging project and. Uh, we advise them about um, what we're doing. We don't have any permits yet. There's permits haven't been filed yet. All the preliminary work is being done. And uh, we met with them and advised them um, about what our intentions were. They were uh, very receptive to us because it's um, gonna make a cleaner, safer pond, uh, better water for Brockton when they do get it. Um, and there's just uh, be some work um, for all of us to work together on this project to hopefully get it completed sometime in the future. I was kind of surprised to learn that it's going to be a really long project um, when it does come out. But but in a way, it's kind of good because it will be less money um, for us to do the project and um, it won't be so much a year to, uh, to get the project done. So we're kind of looking forward to see those facts and figures come out. Um, but uh, they were very receptive to us. Uh, I also brought up some other concerns uh, to them about um, taking of the water from Furnace Pond, and uh, we had some discussion about that and uh, a couple other things about um, the screening there is, um, has been damaged and uh, the juvenile heron, some of them were getting into uh, Silver Lake. Um, and when we noticed that, we got a hold of Brian Creeden and he immediately stopped the diversion um, until we corrected the uh, problem, and we actually we we put up our own net down there to to stop any of the juveniles from getting anywhere near it. So so that was good. Um, we also advised them about the increase of heron that we got this year, um, which was extremely high, and uh, we had no way of getting the fish out um, this past fall because of the drought and because of uh, less water in Furnace Pond. But we did manage. Um, to do that, we made a little stream over to the dam. We put some sandbags around the uh, the dam over there to keep the water level the same, and opened up a very small area for the for the juvenile fish to get through. Um, and we actually had millions of juveniles going downstream this fall. So I don't think there's any way of counting them. Um, there were so many that went down, but. Years past, there's been um, a count of 20,000 fish that have been coming up. Uh, last year, we had 120,000. This past year, we had 238,000 when they pulled the counter. And we had another 50 or 60,000 that came up after they pulled the counter. So we're pretty close to 300,000 fish coming up last year. So if all of them dropped a half a million eggs or whatever, and uh, that's an awful lot of fish going down. So we know that they won't all make it back here, but that, that's all part of the cycle. Uh, so we're very happy with that and advise them that that's going to be part of our project also with the dredging of Furnace Pond. All of these entities and companies, uh, commissions or whatever, all have to get on board. You know, DEP and the Division of Marine Fisheries and, and the... Um, um, Brockton and South Silver Lake, the, everything is, is all going to have to work together to make this thing go. So um, so it's it's in the works anyway. So, Mr. So. Chairman, as Bill was alluded to, the, the reason that the project is going to be expended over a long period of time is that <clears throat> there's only a <clears throat> couple windows of, mm -hmm. uh, of, of a 12-month cycle that you'll be able to dredge the pond. Um, yeah. Obviously, wintertime is not going to be sufficient. And the uh, 
the, uh, the spring passage and the fall passage of the herring is going to have to be addressed. So there's only going to be certain sections of the pond that are going to be dredged anyway. So it probably is going to be about a three or four or five months period during the course of 12 months that the pond's going to be able to be worked on. And uh, that being said, and that means the, the folks that live in and around the pond that enjoy the pond, you know, won't be um, as hampered with their boating activities as, as one might think. So, uh, and that was one of the things that we explained to uh, the water commissioners today as well. Yeah. And, and, this, and this meeting was uh, uh, prompted by a request for D, from the EP that we meet, meet with the Brockton Water Commission to let them, um, let them know about the project.